This is a video to show you how to set up the Les Mill Studio classes using the cart computer and not the tablet. So if we're having issues with the tablet, maybe it didn't get charged, uh, maybe it's just not working right and you can't get it to connect, we've got an uh, alternative option of using the computer cart. Okay, so the first thing you need, we don't need the tablet because we're not using that, or maybe we've already found out it's not working. Get the keys from the front desk and we're going to get out our good speaker that we're using. And we're going to set up our speaker that should always be located back here so that somebody can't steal. So when you grab it, you got two different pieces. You got the base that comes on a three wheel cart. Lift up and use the handle here to lift it up a little bit because it is only on three wheels. And then the other one you can just carry. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the computer before we set up the speaker. So we're going to go over to the cart. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to power on the Dextron machine. And that starts up our projector on the ceiling. And that takes a little while to boot up. While we're doing that, we are going to put down the screen. And then the third thing we're going to do in this method is we are going to get onto the cart computer and we are going to log in. Now you will log in with your normal Bethel login. I will log in with mine right now. And then we'll show you what to do from there. All right, while this is booting up, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get the speaker ready. So we're gonna take the speaker out of its case, the bottom foundation first. It's got a power cord inside. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna put it right next to the cart because we are actually gonna hook the speaker to the cart one, right? So we're gonna get nice and tight. Plug a speaker wire into the wall. Plug the other end into the blue connection point on the back of the speaker, and then you should get power coming through the lower part of the speaker. Second thing we'll do while we're booting the computer up is we will set the base, rest of the base up for the speaker. So the first thing, we're gonna take the mount and we're gonna put it into the bottom part. It only goes in one way. So flip it around if it's not working, and then we'll put the speaker on top of that mount. And again, it only goes on there one way. Drop it down on top of it, and the speaker is ready to go. Now we're ready to go into the computer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the internet browser. From there, we're going to access Les Mills by way of the browser. So we're just going to go and type in Les Mills. I just did it a second ago. We'll click on that. Go ahead, lessmills.com. That's the one we want. So if you can't find something like that, go back and just look for lessmills.com. We're going to click on that. We're going to go up to login. Now I'll have these, this information ready for you, but I'm going to log in. And what it's going to be is Mayrick, and then it's going to be defend94. M-E-Y-R-I-C at Bethel.edu, and then defend, D-E-F-E-N-D, 94. And then it should bring you to this once it gets past that login. From there, you're gonna go ahead and choose whichever workout that you're looking for. So let's say again, we're looking for something that is, and we'll find body pump. Let's click that in there and it's gonna give us all the different body pump mixes that we have. So we'll click on there. And it should bring up that workout. Now, go ahead and pause for a second, okay, while you're setting up the rest of the speaker then. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the cart, which is, has the computer going to it, is locked in to the speaker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 35 millimeter jack from the front of the computer, and then we're gonna plug the other end in now to the speaker. And the two should be connected, okay? So from there, we're gonna go back to this, and we're gonna go ahead and play from the speaker, okay? so. Everything that happens with the computer should now be coming out the speaker.
I'm clean. Thank you. Now, one of the challenges that we have with setting up the program this way is that for some reason there's a glitch in the machine that as the studio class is playing, every now and then it glitches out to show HDMI 1. Not sure what that problem is, but that's why we recommend using the HDMI option as opposed to the cart option. Okay, one thing I do want to show you in this option, making sure that we've got the classroom PC selected because the classroom PC is actually the cart computer. Okay, so as long as that's selected, you will find that you're getting whatever is on the computer cart to show up on the screen. And then as long as you've got the HDMI, or I'm sorry, 35 millimeter cord connected to the speaker, the music will come out through the main speaker. Okay, so setting them up this way is what we prefer. Again, if you don't like that glitch to come in and out, using the HDMI option and looking at that video is the preferred way that will work through the actual um, tablet that we have in my office.